I was always struck by Sean O'Casey, his incredible use of language, but also the fact that he seemed to be way ahead of his time. He's putting together a piece that's kind of a mashup of, of real life, real life in its truest form, which has all of the incredible absurdities of what goes on in day-to-day -day life coupled with the tragedy um, and the fact that it takes place during the Irish Civil War in 1922. Juno and the Peacock is the greatest plays in the English language. It's, uh, it's fun, it's, it's, you will laugh really hard and you will cry equally as hard. You have a working class family living in this environment of sort of civil strife. But the unexpected thing is you have these two wonderful, hilarious kind of buffoons at the center of the story, um, the captain and Joxer. I play Captain Jack Boyle, uh, who's, a, who's a laborer, but he's a laborer who doesn't like to labor, and he labors very hard not to labor. He spends a, a lot of the time in, in, the, in various pubs around the place, and he fancies himself a sea captain and tells the world of all his travels, even though, you know, there are people who say he's never actually been in a boat. Joxer Daly is, uh, he has this incredible bounce back quality. He's a slum louse, but a, a huge survivor. We don't know where he came from, what, he, what really what he's done. The captain makes up some thing about him being in the national foresters. I'd say he never saw a uniform in his life, but uh, he's a survivor, absolute survivor. And then you have this incredible tragic heroine um, in Juno. Why are you trying to drive me out of the house? It'd be easier to drive you out of the house than to drive you into a job. Above all, she's a mother. I think that's the primary thing. She's a wife also, and, but I think her whole focus is about doing what needs to be done. You know, her children are paramount to her. Her worries about her son and her daughter, who seems to have more of a clear road ahead of her um, in terms of maybe meeting the right man and getting out of this um, place. Mary Boyle is a young woman who's been born into certain circumstances and I think she wants more for herself. Um, you know, she's reading books and things that may not have been the norm for women of her class. Uh, I think she's very progressive and I think she's ahead of her time. And, uh, I think she's very strong. She's got kind of a, a beautiful kind of delicate strength to her. I mean, essentially the words are just, they're chocolate candies and sweets for actors because they're so easy to say, they're so easy to learn because it's, it's beautiful. It's, you know, it's, it's poetry and yet it is um, completely how people, how people speak. Juno and the Peacock is probably Sean O'Casey's best known play. And I think he was raised by these people and grew up with these people and lived with these people and now has expressed his love and, uh, of these people in the language, in the poetry, in the deep feeling that he feels for them. He makes us feel for them. For those that don't know the play, you have to come see it because it's truly one of the funniest plays I know. And it's truly one of the saddest, most beautifully written plays I know. And, and the thing that will be surprising is, as you're looking at it, you'll just see, first of all, how great it is, but also how kind of universal it is as a piece of entertainment.